Hey everybody, it's Kendra. So welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. It's Tuesday, time for Tuesday or nay. Now my product today is a hair product and it is meant to be used the day after you wash your hair or two days after you wash your hair. So today this is my second, this is two days. So I washed my hair two days ago and yeah, and yeah okay. So my hair is pretty gross right now. I like to wash my hair every other day. So this is like, you know, an extra day. Anyway, I left my hair down and I'm going on the internet, you know, with dirty, greasy roots um, to talk about the product I'm going to talk about today. So my product today is by Orbe. So this is their soft dry conditioner spray. Looks like this, chic green, like metallic packaging. Um, this you get 235 ml or 5.3 ounces. Um, this is one of these like, you know, graffiti style like spray paint cans. So you can just go graffiti your hair. Um, this guy, I got at Birchbox. You can also get Orbe stuff from Orbe's website. You can also get it from uh, Barney's. Anyway, I have ordered Orbe from Barney's before, but I started ordering from Birchbox because Birchbox often does 20 or 25% off site wide. So Orbe is very expensive, so I'm always looking for a discount. You know, I really love the Orbe dry texturizing spray, and I knew I wanted it, and I knew I wanted a couple bottles of it, but I didn't really want to pay full price. So I was searching for a discount, and then on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, they did 25% off, so I stocked up on some Orbe. Anyway, so this product is $35. So yes, it is expensive. Usually I say like, oh, it's easy to get and it's affordable. This is easy to get, but it's not affordable. So what is this stuff? Now, this is a dry conditioning spray. This is not a dry shampoo. I was for some reason under the impression this was a dry shampoo. Um, I would say, you know, last fall, like right before I ordered this, I had been reading stuff and it was all about how this was like this amazing dry shampoo. And I think I think I read an article, it was like the top five or the top 10 dry shampoos. And this was one of them. So I totally didn't even pay attention and think, oh, dry conditioning spray. That's not the same as dry shampoo. No, I just assumed this was dry shampoo. This is not dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is meant, you know, to go on your roots and it's meant to absorb oil. Um, this dry conditioning spray is meant to be sprayed more like mid, mid shaft to like the end of your hair. Um, and it's meant to just give some like some life back to it, you know, second or third day after washing. It's meant to provide some moisture, some hydration, um, but it's not meant to absorb oil. So dry shampoo is more like drying and dry conditioner is more like hydrating. Um, so yeah, anyway, I totally bought this with like the wrong idea in mind. Now, with that said, how would I use this? So if, you know, I wanted to use Orbe products to style my second or third day hair, I would use the dry texturizing spray, um, on my roots. Okay. This is an amazing, amazing, amazing product. I've done a Tuesday or nay on this before. If you are new to the Orbe brand, buy this. This is expensive. It is $42. So if you can get a discount from Birchbox, do it. Um, so yeah, this is really expensive. This can will last a really long time. And this is just an amazing product. I love this product. This is my second big can. I've also gone through one small can and I'm on my second small can. Um, but yeah, this stuff is like a dry shampoo, a texturizing spray, and like a very light hold hairspray all in one. So I would use this on my roots to sort of just absorb the oil and just provide a little bit of texture. So my hair is not so like bleh, just oily and like stuck to my head. Um, then I would use the dry conditioner spray, you know, sort of through the shaft of my hair to just provide a little bit of life. So that's what I would recommend on how to use this product. Now, in my case, my hair is pretty healthy. Um, you know, I do color my hair, but I'm not really doing anything super, super crazy or wild to it. I'm not bleaching out my hair. I'm not really processing it too much. Um, my natural hair color, you can see, you know, as it's time to get my hair done, maybe you can see. Um, my natural hair color is just sort of like more of an ashy brown, um, similar like tone, similar shade, but it's just more cool. Um, so I get my hair colored more like on the neutral side or warmer. I used to go much warmer. Now I'm trying to get it back to be more of like a neutral tone um, because my hair tends to like turn red if I dye it a warmer rich brown. So I have to sort of stay neutral. 
Anyway, so with this product, um, because my hair is quite healthy, it's just kind of not really necessary to be in my hair care arsenal. You know, I bought this thinking it was a dry, uh, dry shampoo, not a dry conditioner. You know, it does, my hair feels soft, like the shaft of my hair, it feels soft. I don't know, I guess it does what it's supposed to do, but for me it was just kind of like, meh, I don't need this product. Um, and I, I didn't really see it like really wowing me. Like the dry texturizing spray wows me. I think it's amazing. I think the dry texturizing spray can be great on any hair type, but I think the dry conditioning spray is better if your hair is really, really fried, very, very processed, just needs a little bit of something extra. You know, if your hair is super damaged and super, super dry, you're not gonna want to be washing it every day. Um, so this would be something really good to just, you know, keep adding some moisture, add some nutrients to your hair on the days that you're not, you know, actually conditioning it in the shower. So yeah, for me, I would not repurchase this product again, but I don't think it's a bad product. I just don't think it's for me. So, you know, this is two yay or nay. I guess I'm kind of giving it a yay and a nay. For me personally, I would say nay because it's not right for my hair type. Um, but I think for other people, it could really, really work. Anyway, I would love to hear if you guys have tried this. I did, you know, like check on YouTube and I think there was only one other YouTuber who had mentioned this and that was sort of the same thing she said. She said this product, she had very fried hair, very dry hair, so she loved this. But for me, I feel like we were just kind of opposites. But yeah, anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for watching. Now it is time for me to, you know, put my dirty, nasty, greasy hair up where it belongs um, on day two or three. Ah, that's perfect. That's like the perfect hairstyle for me on day two or three. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's great. Oh, perfect. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.